Now, for those of you thirsty for more knowledge, comes this. What if you stop drinking water for a day? <laughs> you know, your body is up to 70% water. This figure changes with age. When you were a fetus, hey, remember that? You consisted of 95% of water for the first month of existence. At birth, this amount became lower, 77%. All in all, in a 150-pound person, there are 11 gallons of water, and two-thirds of this water is in your cells. So why is water so important for a human body? Well, it transports useful substances and nutrients to different organs of your body. It provides energy, it strengthens muscles and lubricates joints, it even lubricates your eyes. A normal cardiovascular function is impossible when you don't have enough water in your body. What's more, without sufficient amount of water, your body wouldn't be able to regulate its temperature and you'd start to overheat. An average person drinks about 264 gallons of water a year. People take this liquid for granted and probably never think what would happen if they stopped drinking it. Well, let's see what dire consequences this action would have. To begin with, water includes other liquids such as soda, juices, tea, and plain old soup. However, these options are perceived by your body mostly like food. But if you can't get pure water to hydrate yourself, these drinks will suffice. If the level of water in your body drops by 1%, your survival instinct will kick in and you will start to feel thirsty. So, what will happen to your body if you stop drinking water at all? Well, first of all, your urine will become dark. When your body feels the lack of water, the kidneys send more of this liquid to the blood. And as the blood keeps all of the water, the urine turns dark yellow. This way, your body conserves its fluids. After a day or so without liquid, you will stop peeing at all. What is more, you'll also have trouble swallowing due to lack of water in your body. Your brain will start to shrink. Oh, that's why. At first, this will be a temporary phenomenon, but if you don't recover your water balance, the brain may suffer from permanent damage. Another negative effect of the lack of water will be that your brain will have to work much harder to fulfill even the simplest tasks. Your energy level will drop significantly. Oh, you will start to lose focus easily, and… what? I, f I forget. Oh, you will become much more irritable. As water is supposed to lubricate your joints and the areas between your bones, its lack will make your whole body hurt as your bones will grind against each other. The condition of your skin will get much worse. Wrinkles and fine lines will become more prominent. The skin itself will feel dry and will start to peel away. Lovely. You'll start to suffer from headaches as your brain will have to make a double effort to do anything. Along with the headaches, you'll have pain in your eyes. There won't be enough water to lubricate them, so that they will become exceedingly dry. You will start to gain water weight. Now this may sound a bit illogical, but that's the way your body will try to conserve all the available water to prevent you from severe dehydration. As a result, you'll feel and look bloated. You will have great problems with your bathroom schedule. As soon as your body realizes that water is missing, it will start to absorb more, which will make it next to impossible to get rid of waste. Later symptoms will be muscle spasms and elevated body temperature. The blood won't get to the skin, and you may turn grayish-blue. You may faint or even have a stroke. After a period of 3 to 5 days, depending on such factors as your age, weight, and health condition, the organs of your body will start to shut down. This may lead to death after the brain starts functioning. Woo! Sounds terrifying, doesn't it? That's why it's extremely important to notice the signs of dehydration on time and do everything to avoid such a condition. So, pay attention to your water balance if your mouth becomes dry and it's hard to swallow. The color of your urine turns darker than usual. You gain weight despite your regular visits to the gym, meaning your metabolic rate has lowered. You feel feverish. Your heart rate is elevated. You feel dizzy and suffer from repetitive headaches. Your skin loses its elasticity and turns red. You feel constantly tired. You can't concentrate. If you're a guy, you may have erectile dysfunctions. You don't cry anymore. 
even if you're a guy with erectile dysfunctions. Not because you don't want to, but because you just can't. Each of these symptoms is worrying enough, but if you notice several of them, it's time to ring the alarm bell. You might be suffering from dehydration. You should immediately increase your water intake. However, you should do this correctly. People need a different amount of water according to their age, gender, weight, and lifestyle. For example, the Institute of Medicine advises women from 19 to 50 to drink 90 ounces of water a day, while men from 19 to 50 should consume daily not less than 125 ounces of water. Spread the amount of water necessary for you throughout the day. For example, drink one glass of water in the morning as soon as you get up. This will jumpstart your metabolism and hydrate you after the night when you didn't drink any liquid. Take a water bottle with you wherever you go. If you stay in the office during the day, put water on the table and take a sip now and then. If your job is connected with moving around, remember to put your water bottle in your backpack. You can play with different types of water bottles. For example, the ones with measurement marks on the side, with a special insulation to keep it cool, with a built-in filter, or a cylinder inside to keep a piece of fruit. If you go to the gym, drink more. After a set of moderate exercises, you need to have additional 1-2 to two cups of water. Use an app that tracks water intake. Such application can be programmed to remind you to drink more water. Some of them can even show the location of a free water fountain nearest you. Follow the rule of 8x8. Eight eight. This means that you need to drink 8 ounces of water 8 times a day. If water is unavailable, try to find other sources of hydration. You can drink juice, tea, coffee, or eat fruit instead. It goes without saying that water is the best liquid to hydrate you, but if you have no other choice, use anything you can pour into your cup to achieve your daily liquid intake norm. At the same time, try not to drink more than 4 cups of tea or coffee a day. Irritability, headaches, and insomnia will most likely be side effects of excessive consumption of these drinks. It may seem surprising, but more than 20% of your daily intake of water comes from food. Try to eat more celery, watermelon, and cucumbers to support your water balance. Another way to introduce more liquid to your diet is broths and soups. And finally, be sure of what you're drinking! There's this cruel little poem about being sure you know what liquid is water and what isn't. Johnny was a chemist's son, but Johnny is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. So, do you know what that compound is? Tell us in the comments below, along with how much water do you drink a day? Share this video with those of your friends who consider water too plain and boring. Press the like button if you found this video useful and remember to subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, you'll miss all the cool stuff we have on the Bright Side. Bright Side.